Hi guys, I'm back again. It's time for another review, real quick. Somewhat quick. Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna do another pump house review right now. It's the blueberry ale. Check it out, huh? Let's bring you on this side, huh? Or bring it on this side. There it is. Check that out, huh? This is the pump house blueberry ale. Blueberry ale. That should be interesting. Blueberry ale, flavored beer. All natural, no preservatives. Ah, that sounds very interesting. Let's give this a go. Nice smoke. It's a bit of smoke. It's really, uh, it's really, really light. Really pale in color. Look at that. Quite pale in color. As you can see, it's pretty good carbonation, but um, nice little white head on there. Just pure white, not no color to the head. Looks like a nice beer. Hmm. Let's have a sniff. not bad it's got a nice blueberry smell to it it's almost like kind of like just sniffing blueberry waffles sort of thing like a blueberry waffles you know cooking in the toaster and you, there's a light scent around the kitchen or whatever right but there's also the beer scent in there too you can smell the uh, you can smell the little bit of the the malt and the hops and whatever else uh, you know it's in the background but you can smell it not bad. Nice little, nice little scent to that. Nice little aroma. Here we go. It's not bad. It's got a little bit of chill haze, but oh well. What the hell? Um, it's got a, a pretty decent mild uh, blueberry flavor to it. Um. The malt in this beer, in this pump house one, is a little subdued, more subdued than the other ones. Mm. Mm. Doesn't, mm. it's got the same kind of maltiness, but not quite. It's a little bit less maltier than the other ones. But you know what, it's, it's not a bad beer. Um, I don't totally hate the, you know, I'm not, I'm certainly not against the, I'm not really against the flavored beers. Um, haven't really had a raspberry ale that I liked. Uh, I've tried the Garrison's raspberry ale and the uh, Saint Ambois raspberry ale, and I didn't particularly like either of them. Um, something about the raspberry just it just it doesn't taste right to me for some reason. But this one doesn't taste too bad. Um, I may have had another blueberry ale. Oh, no, actually, I'm not sure if I have ever had a blueberry ale. Though I know Garrison makes, uh, is it Garrison that makes a blueberry ale? Blueberry. They might. I'm not really sure. I know they make a blackberry. They do make a blackberry, and I tried that, and that's actually pretty nice. That's actually nicely done. This one here is decent. Um, it's got a considerably pretty good, you know, it's, it's not an overpowering blueberry flavor, but it's light. It's there. You know, it probably could be a little bit stronger uh, on the blueberry side, but for the most part, you can taste it. It leaves a nice little blueberry flavor in your mouth, and, you know, everything else is very mild. The malt is mild. The hops are very mild. Can't even really taste the hop bitterness. Just extremely, you know, it's just a, just a very slight hint. Um, carbonation is about medium. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I definitely don't. I uh, definitely do not hate it. It's not one of the better brews from Pump House, um, but uh, it's still very decent. Um, going to set this one at about a generous three out of five, in my own personal opinion. You know, it's less malty. 
It's not, you know, it doesn't quite have enough blueberry flavor, but it's it's still very, it's still pretty decent. I don't mind it. It's still drinkable. It's still easily drinkable. Not bad. It's not bad. Again, cheers. 17. Keep your mugs full, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone.